Revelation chapter 8, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Kakodash. I um, did this breakdown a while back, but they took the, the um, site that I put it on the YouTube page, they took it down. So, of course, the video went down with it. So, I don't know if anybody uh, copied it and put it on their page, but anyway. At least one per I believe two people asked me, well recently, about a week ago, someone asked me to go into Revelation the eighth chapter. And it's um pretty simple uh breakdown. It's not all that difficult. I mean if you don't know it it's it it's uh it seems deep, but it's really not. Uh Revelation chapter eight is yet to come and it goes hand in hand with the destruction so let me uh, just go ahead and read it and I'm going to try to breeze through it let's see where the spirit takes me and when he had opened the seven seals there was silence in heaven about the space of in half an hour and uh, this is John looking at all these different visions you know he just finished seeing the vision of uh, 144,000 12,000 out of each tribe, and then he saw the, the great multitude arrayed in white with palms in their hands. And it was explained to him what that meant. So he's he's looking for other visions to come, and he's, you know, waiting for about a half an hour, and then the visions start up again. It says, And I saw the seven angels which stood before the Most High, and to them were given seven trumpets. Now the seven trumpet or the seven trouble or the seven angel represents the last trumpet. That's when the Lord comes back. It says in um, 1 Corinthians uh, 1 Corinthians 15 around about the 50th verse I'm not going to go to it somebody can put it in there if they want but it it shall it says we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump the last trump represents the seven trump the seven angel the seven trouble third verse and another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was giving given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne so when we send up them prayers they go to the heavens especially the elect when the elect sends up the prayers, the Most High is accepting those prayers. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints, the saints of all Israel, starting with the elect, ascending up before the Most High out of the angel's hand. And the angel's took the censor. Now what is a censor? A censor, if you ever watch a movie about the Roman Catholic Church and you see the priest with that brass or gold, it's like a bowl with um, a chains on it and, he, and there's smoke coming out of it. Hey, they got that from us. That's part of the liturgy. Look that word up. Fifth verse. And the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and cast it onto the earth. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings and an earthquake. That earthquake represents the destruction. What's going to make the earthquake happen are these uh, ICBM missiles pelting the earth. Tells you that. In Isaiah the 24th chapter said the earth shall reel back and forth. (laughs) 
6 verse, and the, and the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Prepared themselves to sound. See, this destruction is not going to take place unless and until the angels sound their trumpets. And when you got trumpet number one, trumpet number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, it tells you in Job, what is that, Job, the fifth chapter, in the 19 verse, you can really start at the 12th verse, it says in the 19th or the 20th verse, it tells you that, um, that uh, in between the six and the seven, uh, trouble or trumpet or angel, we got to be out of here. We got to be beamed up in them ships. And um, we're going to be up above the clouds pursuant to uh, Revelation, the 15th chapter. What does it say in Revelation, the 15th chapter? Let me go to it. Then I'll come back to this. Revelation 15 verse 1 And I saw another sign in heaven Great and marvelous Seven angels having the seven Last plagues They're also known as plagues The seven angels The seven troubles troubles, The seven trumpets And the seven plagues For in them is filled the wrath Of the Most High So during that seventh plague that's when all hell is going to break loose and we're going to be out of here in between the sixth and the seventh plague Revelation 15 verse 2 and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victories o victory over the beast the beast the beast is in full effect right now with the whole crown Vic Royale. That's a part of the beast. And over his image. His image is this. Ancient pagan Roman Empire. System. Because this is Rome all over again. This is the new Rome. This, this is the Rome. That was wounded to death. And behold his deadly wound was healed. Healed Revelation uh, 13. The image is not a picture of Caesar Bouger. And over his mark, the mark, the word mark goes back to the Greek word karagma, and we said this many a times. Now the word karagma is uh, mentioned in uh, the book of Acts. And what I'll do is I'll put that precept in the, uh, in the comment section. Now the word karagma literally means to engrave <laughs> and over the number of his name his number is based on the three sixes this guy um, President um, Biden he said that something was going to pass it was going to take place he said it was going to take place either in it's going to take six days, six weeks, or six months. I believe that's how he, he said it. Six days, six weeks, or six months. But it's going to happen. So what that was was a message to the illuminated ones. The number which is uh, spoken of in Revelation 13 and eight, uh, 18. And his number is three score. A three um um six hundred three score and six 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 so it went over Jake's head and it went over Esau's head but it didn't go over the head of the elite and the and the ones whose eyes are open and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass the sea of glass 
represents the firmament or above the firmament up in the sky having the harps of the most high that's that represents we're going to be standing in them ships and we're going to be looking down at the destruction of babylon the great the most high is going to allow us to see it and that's the fulfillment of psalm the 91st chapter We're not going to overcome Christianity. All right? So now let me go back. Give me a second here. This way. We're back at Revelation eight. And we've been going through these uh, breakdowns on Saturday to the best of our ability because a lot of different subjects and spirits come up. But we've been trying to, uh, we got a little audience out there on Saturdays and we've been pretty much going back to the drawing board. You know, the first thing that we were, that I was taught when I went to Ariaz, priest, high priest Ariaz Saturday class was um, the various uh, prophetic breakdowns. Revelation 8 verse 6 and the seven, seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound and they're pre pre preparing themselves to sound if you've ever seen a trumpet player or if you ever seen a, a Louis Satchmo or a Miles Davis and where's he, the, the, what's the other name? Wow. And when he would play his, he looked like a bullfrog. His uh, cheeks got so big when he played the trumpet. Damn, I can't believe I can. He had the great, I'm just mentioning some of the great trumpeters. Louis Satchmo Armstrong. Miles Davis, which I ran into him. I actually saw him about three days before he dropped dead. He he he, he was eating that he was eating eating crab, man. He went to this place called the Crab Shanty, which was right next to the was which was right next door to the the school at One West. And I told uh, Tazapawan, it was me, High Priest Shaw, and Tazapawan, and um. We had told the Zapuan, look, give him a flyer. So he knew he was an Israelite, you know, before he, because uh, he had to have read that, you know, that, that flyer. So before he passed, a couple of days later, he knew that he was an Israelite. So we're back in the book of. Is that Dizzy Gillespie? Dizzy Gillespie. Dizzy Gillespie. I'm going to have to look him up. Anyway, it says on um, the seventh verse. Well, oh, going back to the, going back to the, before the angel sounded, these great trumpeters, when they would play, they would get their mouths ready, whether they put Vaseline on their lips and, you know, they did certain exercise to get ready to play because they were going to play a long session. And that's a painful thing when you're playing that trumpet, especially for a, con on a, con uh, for a concert. You know, that was a, a lot of strain on, the, on, the, on your mouth, on your lips. And you had to be in shape. 
It says a uh, seventh verse. The first angel sounded in there, followed hell and fire, mingled with blood. And that hell represent the uh, missiles. So the apostle John didn't know what a missile was. He didn't know what an ICB. He didn't put down the word. I saw an ICBM missile. I saw a Tomahawk missile. I saw a low cruise missile. He he's he's to him it looked like hell with fire coming out the hell ming with blood because when it when these uh these warheads hit they they cause people to bleed they cause people to blow up and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. Now the third part represents the third part of man. You have three classifications of men. Sons of the power, which are the Israelites. Sons of the wicked, which are Edomites. And sons of men, which are the other nations. So the third part that was going to get destroyed was where Edom was at. And mainly it's talking about Babylon the Great. And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. Now that great mountain represents the missiles pelting Babylon the Great. Because it was a sister that asked the question, she had asked whether this mountain represents the volcano, the active volcano that you read about in the news. I forget the name of the volcano. And I said no. So I said I would do a video. I think I even put in a comment. I'll do a video on this. That represents the. Uh, the missiles. Now it's in Jeremiah. I don't know if it's in Jeremiah 50, 25. Or Jeremiah 25. I'm almost positive it's Jeremiah 50 and 25. Which I'm not going to go to it. Matter of fact, let me let me do this. Let me try this. Bear me for a minute. Let's see if it's Jeremiah 50. Could be wrong. That's not it. Let me try Jeremiah 51. Okay, yeah, Jer Jeremiah 51, verse 25. And, and Jeremiah 50 and Jeremiah 51, which speaks about the destruction of Babylon, is talking about this current Babylon. Jeremiah 51 verse 25 Behold I am against thee O destroying mountain Mountain meaning government This is east The destroying mountain is Esau's government NATO, the EU, Canada, America Saith Yahweh Which destroyeth all the earth And I will stretch out mine hand upon thee And roll thee down from the rocks Because they are Edomites and will make thee a burnt mountain. Let's go back to Revelation 8 verse 7. The first angel sounded and there followed hell and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up. And all green grass was burnt up. A verse. And a second angel sounded. And as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. So that mountain represents the missiles destroying this place. Now 
It's written a little different in Jeremiah 51, 25. But it's the same event. And that mountain represents Esau's government, Esau's kingdom, a ruling power of Esau. Ninth verse, Revelation 8, verse 9. And the third part of this, uh, creatures were, which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. That's Esau's ships. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part, Esau, Esau's government, Esau's ruling power of the rivers and upon the mountains and upon the fountains of water. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. Wormwood means, let me go to it. Got to know a little Greek, Greek and know a little Hebrew. G894 Obscenthia 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 oh, Let me let, let you listen to that again Strong's G894 Obscenthia Obscenthia Wormwood The name of a star which fell into the waters And made them bitter Made them contaminated Remember the account of the uh, waters of, uh, was it Mara, when Moses and our foreparents, they encountered that, uh, what was that, a big river or lake. There's a large body of water. Somebody can put the precept in the, in the comment section. But the water was bitter, meaning it, was, it would kill you if you drank that water. The, the water was contaminated. So the Most High instructed him to take a tree and to cast it into that body of water and the tree cleaned up the uh, water where, it was able, where they were able to drink. Now this is where you get the concept of uh, uh, filtering water and the filtering agent is uh, carbon or charcoal. So it go through that carbon and that charcoal and then when the water came, went past the the carbon or the charcoal, that water would be fresh. There's another way of cleaning water. It's called the distill. You would take a pot, put the water in it, the, the bitter water. You would have the steam come to the top of the pot, the covering of the pot, and whatever went to the top of the pot, you siphoned it off, that water was fresh. What is that called? Reverse osmosis. Look that up. Osmosis. Reverse osmosis. Now, there was a destruction in uh, of a power plant in uh, Russia, and the power plant was called. I believe the power plant or the place was called Chernobyl. Now that word Chernobyl translates into the word wormwood which uh, means contaminated so people got contaminated from that uh, that leak so the waters became wormwood meaning they became contaminated Eleven verse again, Revelation eight verse eleven, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became wormwood or contaminated, and many men died of the waters. Why did they die of the waters? Because they were drinking contaminated water. Water. They were drinking um, radioactive water because they were made bitter. Or contaminated and the fourth angel sounded in the third part of the Sun was smitten 
and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars. The sun, the moon, and the stars also represent wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Not necessarily in that order. So they didn't have a way to get out of this. It says in, in Isaiah the 13 chapter they, that the, uh, the, the Medes shall not re regard the little ones. So as the third part of them was uh, darkened and the day sh shone not for a third part of it and the night likewise. Meaning they had no way of getting out of this. Thirteen verse, and I be beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, "Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpets of the three angels which are yet to sound." So this destruction is going to come in stages, but there's going to be a point in time where those missiles are going to be shot off. You know what I see? I see certain missiles being shot off. Then it's going to kind of stop. Then they're going to try to negotiate. Then some more missiles are going to be shot off. Then it's going to come to a point. And we got to see. We got to wait and see. This is just me talking. Then there's going to be a point where those Russians and those other allies of Babylon, they're just going to pretty much say, fuck it. Just, just destroy this motherfucking place. Whether it be Biden that does it or Kamala Harris or something gonna ha gonna happen, and this is all a buildup. You know they have the uh, the uh, cargo ships out there on the west coast because they're coming from uh, they're coming from um, you know China. So how did it come? They come from China to the west, the west coast of, of the U.S. And those containers, they have uh, trucks, 18-wheelers, that go to the various different stores and uh, drop off their merchandise from the west all the way to the east. Ain't nothing coming to the, the east. Everything comes from the west. And it's pushed to the east. So this thing might happen in the form of stages. Where parts of America, certain cities are going to be hit. Then they're going to try to negotiate. And that's what the, the Medes, pursuant to um, Isaiah 13, they're not going to give a damn. 